today we're going to play chase roulette game so i have in front of me there should be 10 funko pops in here so the past couple weeks the funko shop on funko.com they've been restocking some we thought at least i thought was like vaulted pops but i guess they're not actually vaulted yet they restocked the original superman pop i think it came out originally like in 2010 or 2011 i guess it's not vaulted yet and they restocked the Wonder Woman from 2010. And I've already opened up 10 of the Wonder Woman pops. And I got out one chase. The odds of the Wonder Woman was 1 in 36. The Superman pop that's in this one, the odds on this one is also 1 in 36. So when Funko first started doing chase possibilities, variations, the odds to get one was 1 in every 36 pops. So... There's six pops per like Funko case. So stores would have to order six cases to get one Chase Funko Pop. And I think the Superman, the metallic Chase thing is worth like 150 bucks or so. Like it's not a cheap one whatsoever. So this is kind of like the restock that they recently did. They made like the newest batch like late last year and it took them a few months to actually get them in but they went on sale on Funko.com and sold out within like under a minute. So disc trackers on Twitter, they tweeted out that, hey, this Superman pop just restocked. An old pop just restocked. Go quick. So they only had maybe a few hundred and you could put a max of 10 into your shopping cart at one time. So I put my max of 10 in, checked out, went back in to get 10 more. They were already gone. So they did not last very long. So I got 10 here. The odds you got a chase is one in 36. So I don't, my odds to get a chase is like, what, 25% chance. Not fantastic odds, but it is possible. You never know. Let's see how they package these up. So there's the top of the box there. Packing paper here. So this is how like Funko has been doing their pops now. They used to just send them in like individual sorters or like the six pack boxes, but recently they've been doing like these things and these. Um, yeah, they don't offer really any more protection than what the other ones did. Uh, they take up more space during shipping. Anyway, here we go. Ready to do this? 10 Superman pops. I'm hoping for at least one chase. I'm hoping for one. But of course the odds of getting out a chase is not good. 1 in 36. You ready? First one. Let's see what I got. And it's the Superman, not the Chase. Yeah, this is the OG mold, the OG Superman. Um, that originally came out, I think it was, let me look it up really fast. I think it originally came out, was it 2010, I think? Let's see, this is also the black box. If you have the original blue box, um, the blue box Superman, same pop, just a, a blue box is worth 210 for the common. 2750 for the chase if it is this reissued one it's only worth what well, only if it's the chase it's it's worth 175 dollars and the commons worth nine bucks okay so the chase is worth 175 dollars it's a pretty highly desired chase it's a grail to a lot of people here we go we got nine more attempts you ready? Uh, number two. Come on, Chase. Ah, not the Chase. That's okay. So this is actually, they remade these, let's see, what is that? September of 2021. And it took literally like five months to actually get them once they, they ordered them to the Funko shop for sale. So two so far, two commons. Here we go, pop number three. Chase? Ah, no chase. But Superman is loose out of the box or out of his plastic little holder. I'll have to take him out of there and put him back to where he belongs. This happens sometimes with Funko Pops. The pop comes loose in the packaging and it can actually damage the, not damage it, it, it could, but it could damage the window of the box as it pushes on it. Um, but I have to put him back into the plastic mold. Here we go, pop number four, right? Yeah, four. Come on, Chase. Ah, no chase. That's okay. There's like oof, dust on these boxes. 
So now the first four, we are 0 for 4. Six more attempts trying to get out one of the original Superman metallic chases. Yeah, it's, 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 it is kind of crazy that they actually restocked this pop. I mean, this thing should have been vaulted a long time ago. For some reason, whenever you look on the actual app, it's not vaulted yet still. Very odd. We go three more. Let's see. Number, was this five? Yeah. Chase? Ah, no chase. First five, we're 0 for 5, all five commons. PB2 in the commons, nine bucks. Oh, also, there was a there was a promo code that we could use, like thanks 15 or something like that. So I actually got these for only 10 bucks a piece. They're 15% off. So 10 bucks a piece, they're worth nine. I'll try to sell them for like, you know, nine, 10 bucks a piece just to break even at least, hopefully. Here we go. Next one. Is it a chase? Nah, no chase. He's out of his plastic too. Want to fix him also. He came loose out of the plastic inner well. It happens. Here's number seven. Come on, Chase. Ah, not the Chase. That's okay. At least so far, the first seven, the boxes are all pretty minty. I haven't seen any box that has any kind of damage on it or anything like that. So that is a positive. So right now, the first seven, we've got no Chases three more attempts last three so a lot of people probably ask you know how how did you know about this well like i said earlier i saw the tweet that disc trackers put out on the twitter account what i do is i have all their notifications set whenever they tweet i get notified and yeah i get a lot of like you know junk tweets from them but i follow them for reasons like this whenever they tweet out quickly hey this pop is restocked grab them before they're gone Last three, you ready? First one, come on, Chase. Did I get it? Ah, no Chase. Two more tries. Two more tries. At least these boxes are extremely mint condition boxes. Two more attempts, here we go. Last two. Did I get it? Ah, nope. We have one try left. Actually, what's funny, on the Wonder Woman pop, the very last one, the 10th pop, ended up being the chase. It came down to the last one. Is this going to happen again to the Superman? Am I going to come out to the very last one and hit the chase? If I do it again, that's kind of crazy luck. Here we go. Here's the last one. This one's for all the marbles. Okay, we both can't see it yet. Here we go. Number 10. Old... Superman pop that got restocked. One in 36 for the chase. Is this box going to have it? Is this the one? You ready? Ah, didn't get it. Didn't get it. That's, he's, he's also out of the plastic mold. We'll have to fix him too. Did not get the chase. Struck out. 0 for 10. Like I said, the chase on these are 1 in 36. The chases are hard to get. They're not, I mean, you've got to buy a lot to even have a chance at one chase. So I knew going in, buy my max of 10. Only had, like I said, like a 25% chance, but it's worth the gamble because that one chase by itself is worth more than what all these pops cost. So it was worth the gamble. It was fun. I like playing the fungal pop chase roulette game. It's fun, but it also is kind of like gambling. You're spending money with the possibility of hitting that one pop that's worth a lot more than what you paid. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. This time, I missed it. That's okay. All these will be for sale. I'll probably throw them into, like, buy it nows on whatnot or something. You know, cheapy, you know, like eight, nine bucks maybe. Maybe I can get ten bucks out of them, but probably not. Hopefully I can, though. But anyway, that's what I got this time. Make sure you follow me here on YouTube. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Also, make sure you follow me on whatnot. Download the app. It's totally free. Follow me on there. Franchise Kicks, all one word. That's where I sell all of my fungal pops that now is only exclusively on the Whatnot app. So I'll see you next time.